Hey guys, my name is Jason with Mount Baker Mining and Metals. And today we're back in the rock shop here. I've got two or three different piles of rocks here. We're going to slab up, cut up, see if we can find any gold in some of them. There's some other special types of rocks here I want to show you. For those of you interested, all the stuff I show you here today is going to be for sale on eBay. So check out the link in the description below. Here's some quartz from my gold mine I'm going to slab. And these little tiny red rusty pockets is what I'm looking for. So I want to cut these open right through those rusty pockets and see if I can see any gold. That's been a real good indicator for us in the past. Real quick, here's our rock saw. It's got an 18 inch diamond blade on it, so it'll cut through our rocks real easy. It's lubricated with oil. I'll just get my rocks clamped here in this vise, turn it on, and in no time, we'll have rock slabs. Here's our first piece off that quartz ore from the gold mine. And I've got something right up there that I'm kind of interested in. And then also right over here. So let's get out the microscope, we'll take a look. I'm gonna use this little microscope. This thing is really cool, I've showed it in my other videos, it just clips on your phone, and you can get up to apparently 200 times power. Uh, I've got a link in the description below if you wanna check it out on Amazon. Oh, bam, right there. There's some really fine gold, ooh, there's some more gold. Nice looking gold there. Right with those orange pockets. About down here, some more little tiny, look how fine that stuff is. Very fine, there's some more. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but watch right there where my thumb is. The sun is not out today, but if I reflect it just right there, see? See the gold flash right there, yellow? When you get it in the light just right, you can see the gold reflect. And there's no other mineral I know of that will flash yellow like that and reflect the light. There's no sulfide, there's no nothing. Gold is the only thing that will flash like that when you cut it. And it's really easy to tell. That is gold for sure. Here's our second slab off that quartz gold ore. And I'm already liking that a lot. This stuff right here, that's really good looking stuff. I'm cutting these about a half inch thick slab. So let's see what we got in here. But that's really promising. Oh man, before I even get the microscope out, this thing is just loaded. That spot up here, and that's just one side. Look at this side. Same thing, look at that piece right there. All across up here. Let's get the microscope on this one. This is a nice, nice piece. Bam, right off the bat. There's some good stuff. There's some gold down in the quartz. Awesome. There's more gold. There should be the big piece right over here somewhere. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that, that is nice, nice stuff. Good stuff, let's flip it over. Here's the other side. Boom, gold, right away. Look at that, more fine, fine stuff up there. Another piece there, nice piece there. Woo, this is nice stuff. Oh man, it's like every piece I slab off gets better and better. So this is the face that we had originally that was back in the saw. There's some gold there, some gold there, some gold there. Here's the fresh face, the one I just got off. And look at all that gold. Holy cow, it's just a little speckled line across there. Just gold, look at, look at the gold down in the quartz. I love that, I love seeing that gold that's kind of down inside the quartz. Ooh, there's some nice gold. More gold, keep coming, yeah, there's gold, there's more gold. It's all the way across this face. You guys, this is just getting ridiculous. Every slab is just loaded with gold. There's one face. Let me turn it over. And there's the other face. I mean, this thing must assay, I don't know, if I was to guess, five to ten ounces a ton. I mean, look at all the gold. It's all over here, all along the edge. Down here, there's gold. Just 
loaded. Now it's just the face, right? So imagine how much gold there is between here and there. I just got this cheap tile saw off Craigslist. I'm gonna try and use it to cut more. I cut one piece to work pretty well. Let's see how it goes. Well, here's that piece I just cut in the tile saw. And let me see if I can show you the flash. See all the gold on there? It's a little bit harder when it's wet. But every piece is like that. Just loaded with gold. I wish the sun was out. I could show you in the sun. But look down there at the bottom. See all that gold? Man, like I say, every cut through this little rock has really, really nice gold. Look at all that gold. And then here's the last piece. Look at that. I mean, all in that one tiny little rock. That is going to be a nice one for someone. I cut it on my tile saw. That little 10 inch tile saw did just great. These are, I don't know, somewhere between a quarter and three eighths of an inch or a quarter and a half an inch, probably three eighths. These would make awesome, awesome cabochons. Here's one that has some nice gold on the surface. There's some gold right there as well. So I'm going to try and cut this one kind of diagonal. Wait until you see the gold I found in this one. So every piece has gold on it. There's the first little nick. Here's the corresponding face that the blade went through. And look at this. Whoa! Like, it's almost a piece of wire that was cut there. And then a bunch of other blobs over here. And then it just keeps going. Look at that. That is so cool. It's got just loads of gold and then a sulfides in there with it. And then it kind of cuts across over here to this corner. The, these would be some really cool pieces to try hydrofluoric on. Or I know uh, Vogus prospecting. People have told me he's done, he's boiled it with like uh, caustic soda or lye and that's eaten away some of the quartz but that would be awesome those are the main ones once you get get back into the quartz the showy stuff goes goes away there's still lots of gold oh I don't know that piece is still pretty good all in that one little rock see there's still gold even in here Look at that, all these pieces I can hold in my hand. And look, you can see the gold from there. Man, it's just flashing at you. Whoo, 
that may be the that may be the richest piece I've ever pulled out of that mine. And I found it on the floor. I was showing mine operator around and I said, Oh, here's a piece of gold. But look at what it was hiding inside. Man, that's cool. Here's our next pile of rocks. This is a rock called Listwanite. I've done a video in the past where I found some of this in the creek and cut it open and found some really, really rich gold ore in this Listwanite. I mean, like a little bands of gold in this stuff. So I went back, I got some more rocks. I wanna cut these up. And in a future video, I'm gonna go walk up the creek and try and find the source of this stuff. This is an ultramafic rock similar to Dunite but it's been hydrothermally altered. And so sometimes there's a bunch of silica in here, which I think this stuff in particular has. Other times it'll have carbonates in it, which this stuff I believe is very low in carbonates. So what I need to do is I need to slab these pieces up and I was finding the gold right along these bands of green and white. So I think if I cut perpendicular to the bands, I'll get a real good cross section and we'll see if we can find any gold. Man, that is just a beautiful rock. There's the piece that cut off. We'll get these under the microscope, take a look. Here's the piece that has a lot more green in it, a lot more color. I really want to see a nice big band of gold like I did in the last video. I cut this list tonight, but I don't see anything real obvious on this piece. Here's our next piece on this one. Got a real Got a real nice quartz band there on the bottom now. And I'm cutting these things off at about a quarter of an inch. So some of you guys like to buy these and make cabochons out of them. So I've got a bunch of real nice slabs here at the end of this video. There's a big old blob of sulfides I found in here. I don't see any gold associated with it. But sulfides are a good indicator. A couple people left me comments on the last time I did this and said it looks like the surface of Jupiter. It sure does. It's kind of clouds and wispy stuff going on, all that green swirlies. And here's our other one. Oh man, I just love this stuff. This stuff is so cool looking. But in the past, I found it right in the bands of green and gray. So that's what we're looking for. Oh, what's that? There's some gold right there. And it's still there after I wipe it off. <laughs> so that's a good sign. So that piece has some gold in it. Let's see if I find some more. Some sulfides, it looks like. There's another little piece right there in the center. Well, this is the second slab. It's got some amazing texture down here. There's maybe a little piece down there. There's a real faint one down inside the quartz. But there's a spot down here. Yeah, look at that. Look at that amazing color. Just look at that. That is so cool. And then there's a big piece of gold right there, I think. Man, that is just, it's just a beautiful rock. I can't get over how, how pretty that rock is. A little bit more gold down there. Now we're really getting into our slabs here. And I just, I know I just rave about this stuff, but it's so cool. It is so pretty. Just absolutely beautiful stuff. I've never seen a rock like that. That would be awesome countertop or tile material right there. There's some nice gold. Come down here and there's a little bit more of it. It's almost like these rocks, it, they either have it or they don't. There's a little bit more and a crack. There's some more. There's quite a bit down in here. So this rock has quite a bit of gold associated with it. Whereas the other one doesn't, surprisingly. There's some more. There's a nice piece right inside of a, another grain. Maybe a decomposed sulfides. Not sure on that one. There's an interesting piece. Kind of going into the quartz there, it looks like. There's a nice little pocket of gold down here. You follow this gray vein along. There's some more. There's some up there. And this is kind of what I remember from some of my previous slabs is when you find these gray veins or green veins, the gold kind of comes out of solution right in those veins. Here's another little spot where you got some veining going on and 
gold associated right right within those veins. There's another cool little sulfide gold inclusion there. Here's our two Listwinite pieces. This is going to be named Listwinite number one. And this is the one I found all the gold in. This has the slabs with all the, the gold in it. This one is Listwinite number two. And on both of them, I have these two little stand-ups I cut out of the end. But this is Listwinite number two. I, don't, I didn't see really any gold in these. But in my opinion, this rock is way, way more interesting and pretty and beautiful than, than this rock over here. This one has a lot more green in it, a lot more swirly characteristic stuff. This would make beautiful jewelry. So there you go, Listwinite number one, Listwinite number two. Well, here's my last piece of Listwinite. It's kind of a funny shape. It's kind of long and skinny. I might try and cut the ends off and make it into a big square rectangle. It's not gonna be very big, but we'll see. I don't know, I'm not quite sure what to do with this. Let's get the ends cut off and then we'll see if we see any gold or what the mineralization looks like and we can go from there. Here's the first piece off of that rectangle block thing I'm gonna make. And man, that is beautiful as well. Look, it's got some black stuff in it. We're working our way through our little block here. I've got three sides cut. Now we're gonna put it in, cut our fourth side. Well, here's my piece I was gonna cut into a rectangle. But I think I'm gonna leave it like this. It's kind of cool, it's got a little twist to it. It's got this really neat vein running through it like that. There's those pieces off the end. So I think I'll save it, I'll, I'll put it up all as one, one auction, it's kind of like a little puzzle. And uh, one of the issues I had is I couldn't get the faces square. See that? That one's not 90, they're not 90 to each other. So it's kind of a cool little twisty project. I think it's pretty neat. And this is all dunite. This is a rock that originates down in the mantle of the planet. It's fairly rare to find it on the surface, but here in Western Washington, we have one of the largest single deposits of dunite in the Western Hemisphere. And so I thought this was a cool one. It weathers real orange and tan colored on the outside, but once you get on the inside, it really shows the green olivine. This is over 90% olivine. There's also little tiny black flecks in here that are chromite. Here's a few other ones, smaller pieces, and you can really see those bands of chrome, chromite in there. And this is what companies would look for if they're gonna mine chrome, is these bands of chrome. There's some places in the deposit where there's chrome bands that are feet wide, and that would be ore grade chromium. Also, this is a, a source of platinum and PGM metals. This is what you'd be looking for. This is very similar in composition to what they mine, uh, the PGMs in Stillwater, Montana, and stuff like that. We're all locked in here. This is our first victim, this piece of dunite. I've got some wedges here so the vise can evenly clamp down and it's not all cattywampus. And we'll just slab off this first section where I broke it off with a hammer. And then we'll start slabbing little ovals out of this thing. Here's our first look. Oh man, that is a pretty stone there. Look at that. So I've moved the table over, and now we're going to take another quarter inch slab. This will be our, our first nice, true slab off of this piece. Look at that color. Looks like there's a little crack in this one. But it's just a beautiful, beautiful color. I'll show you the rest once they're all cleaned up, but I got, I don't know, six or eight little, little wafer coaster type of things off this rock, and there's my little end piece. So maybe I'll take this and make a stand up out of it, cut it right in half like that. That'd be pretty easy. Don't want to let anything go to waste. A little tiny mini stand up. Well, here's one of the bigger ones in my other saw. Check that out. There's one face. There's the other face. Very, very cool. There's little black flecks of chromite in there. Yeah, that's a pretty piece. Now I'll make another bookend out of the other half, and we'll have a pair. So here's the other half. We're going to just slice the bottom off here. Then I'll use that flat face, put it on the table, and we'll cut the face out of it, and we'll have a nice pair of 
bookend. Let's check on our next bookend here. Man, that is just beautiful stuff. That's waste, so I'll throw that in the waste bucket. Now it'll cut that off. Let me crank it over a little bit. We want to get it so that blade lines up right with that crack. That's good. You actually, you know, it'd be pretty cool if I left a little bit of that jagged part on the face. Let's try that. It might be getting a little bit too, too artistic here, but we'll try it. So I can always, if I don't like it, I can always just move it, move it in and then cut it off smooth. But it might look kind of cool to have a little bit of broken area and nice and smooth area. Okay, let's try it. What do you guys think? Is that, is that cool? Or does that just look ugly? Leave me a comment down below, let me know what you think. But this would be the pair. One of the nice, well this one's covered in cat litter, so. Got to get them cleaned up a little bit, but they would go together like that. That one's not quite square, I don't think. Well, that's irritating. Let me recut this one here so it's square. There we go. There's much more of a smooth face now too, but we got a nice 90 on there. I don't know, I kind of like that little bit of defect on the face. It's kind of cool. And look at all the black chrome, chromite bits in this one. All right, for our next one, I'm just going to cut these in half. I kind of like the idea of just a natural rock cut in half. And if you guys have any suggestions, you know, you'd like something, like me to see something, like me to cut something for you, let me know. Leave me a comment below. This one, the weathering rind, goes in a little bit deeper, so it's not as green all the way through as some of the bigger rocks. Here's a look at some of that chromite under the microscope. And it's cool, you can, you can see the kind of the cubic crystals down inside the olivine. Yeah, look at them right along the edge there. There's a big grain. Chrome in the wild. Here's a bunch of our dunite stuff. You got that stuff sitting in kitty litter. It's going to think about it for a little while and clean off the oil. I got these big stand-up bookends here. Well, it's been a super busy day for me. I've got a ton of pieces cut. Let's go take a look. Start up here with all these dunite pieces. A lot of these are those dunite stand-ups. And then I've got these three here with the chrome in them. I did get a piece of dunite cut here into slabs. These are all about a quarter inch thick. It's because I know a lot of you guys like to cab stuff, so there's some really cool dunite slabs. Here's listonite. This is my listonite stuff. Here's the stuff I did see the gold in. Here's the stuff that has a little bit more green in it, a little bit more character, and then our last piece here, I tried to make that kind of pillar thing out of it. It didn't work out, but I still think it turned out pretty darn cool. That's a really nice little piece there. This is the gold ore that I cut. There's three standout pieces. This was the first one we did. And each one of these slabs, they're about a half inch thick or so, all have really nice gold in them. Then we have this one. Also, a lot of really, really nice gold, about a half inch thick or so. And then this is kind of the grand, grand finale, the grand jewel of the whole thing. This whole thing was all one little rock and it's just loaded with gold. I've got some other pieces here, some that are a little bit thinner at a quarter inch. So there's some options for you guys. And the last piece here is, I didn't get this on camera, but this is some other gold ore, some quartz ore. It's full of pyrotite. So if you're interested in that one, I'll list those as well. So as mentioned, you can find all this stuff on eBay. I'll put a link up here on the end screen as well as down in the description below so you can find it. And I wanted to mention all the proceeds to all these auctions are going right back to the mine. They're going to help pay for the employees, help pay for explosives, and all the expenses that go along with the mine. So I really appreciate your guys' support through these auctions. Another way you can support us is through our Patreon account. You can sign up and get monthly updates and weekly updates and a few little behind the scenes peaks as well. So check that out. But I really, really appreciate all you guys' support and watching me through this whole process. So thanks again, and we'll see you on the next video.